to the recovery. This is vaccinations pick up across the globe, with the FDA deeming J&J's single-shot COVID vaccine both safe and effective. For more, here's Katie Lines. Safe and effective. That is the headline, John. The FDA in its report saying that the vaccine has an efficacy rate of 72%. That confirms J&J's own findings. There were also no COVID-19 related deaths in the trial study. Now, a panel of advisors to the FDA will vote on whether or not to recommend the shot for emergency use authorization on Friday. If that is granted, it could substantially boost the vaccine rollout here in the U.S., especially given it's a one-shot vaccine, and it can be kept refrigerated for three months rather than frozen. As it stands right now, the daily vaccination rate in the U.S. over the last week has been about 1.3 million doses, slowed down, of course, by the deep freeze that we saw in many parts of the U.S. About 65 million doses have been given so far. Now, J&J, &J, if it comes into the equation, has said it will be initially able to provide 4 million doses and that by the end of March, it can produce 20 million. That adds to a coming surge in vaccine availability. According to a Bloomberg analysis, if you couple that J&J &J number with the promised vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer, you could inoculate 130 million Americans fully by the end of March. So 